So I'll just go to the strategist right here for that. Oh, no, wait, no, 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 no. I want to see about uh, changing some character classes because we have a couple of intermediate seals. Yeah, chat just said like you said you were going to do the class thing. I remembered. I remembered, chat. Time to work you into shape. Acquire class. All right, we got a lot of people that can acquire classes. Not Bernadetta, though. She needs more training. Okay, okay. Definitely Dorothea, one of my favorite characters in... in Fire Emblem Three Houses. I love her. Definitely, we're gonna, we're gonna boost her up into a mage here. Yes. Class attained! Well, this is a new look for me. Okay, and then put your weapon level on tomes and authority up to C from D. Okay. Yes. All right, very good. And then we need advanced seals to try and go further. All right, very nice, very nice. I am pleased with this. Caspar, my man. Now listen, I know you're supposed to, like, make your way to being a wyvern lord, but I'm here to tell you, you will become a war master and you will like it. Very upsetting that this apparently subtracts one strength from you, but brawlers can punch a lot, so it'll make up for it. Yeah. Can't wait to try this out. I don't think I've played as a punching character yet. Unusable weapons, combat arts, magic, and abilities were automatically swapped with optimal replacements. Would you like to equip them manually? Yes, let me look at it manually, please. So just that we need to get better than training gauntlets. That's not good enough. Rushing blow, is that all you've got? Dual devastators. Cannot be used. Equip it anyway? Why can't I use it? Probably because I don't have, like, better... Maybe I need better weapon equipped, or maybe he needs to get more class knowledge first. I guess we'll see. But we're, I'm definitely going to make Caspar go into War Master instead of uh, Wyvern Lord, for sure. Uh, Ferdinand, I want to get you on a horse. We haven't had a horse character yet. I'm totally cool with him going straight Holy Knight. I think that's very fitting. Either that or Great Knight, but I, I'd rather do Holy Knight. Get certified. So the uh, certifications aren't a percentage chance in this game like normal file, uh, Fire Emblem. Give I'm totally fine with that. Totally fine with that. Less RNG, the better. Edelgard. What are you? You're a unique unit right now, aren't you? Yeah. The Armored Lord? This is what you currently are? Yeah. And you haven't mastered it yet. So there's no real point in turning you into the other ones unless there are skills to unlock by mastering them. I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm just not even going to worry about that right now. Monica, you are supposed to do the exact same thing that Dorothea does, it seems. That's fine. I'm kind of wondering if I want to have... Petra become a trickster? Or if I want to have her become a falcon knight? Because we don't have any flying units right now, do we? I'm kind of wondering what I want to do. Because I would like to have one person on a flying thing, and Kaspar was going to be our flying person. But now he isn't, obviously, because uh, I put him to other stuff. Trickster does sound interesting, though. I went the sword route with Monica so she could be a mortal savant. That could be cool for Monica. Maybe we'll do that. There are a lot of options. I, I want options because there are different playstyles and all, so you know. Presumably for each class. I think I really want to have Petra become a Falcon Knight because I don't think we're gonna get a Falcon Knight unit. We might get uh 
we might, hopefully, if I can, get Felix or someone else who can, like, become a trickster or something uh, later down the line. But I think I'm gonna switch you over to Soldier. I have to switch you to that and not try and unlock it. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna have Petra become a Soldier and then become a Pegasus Knight. Monica, I like this Mortal Savant idea that uh, chat mentioned. Because Mortal Savants are sword users that do magic. Yeah, yeah. So we have to have you go Myrmidon, and I'm going to switch Petra and Monica to that right now. I actually really like the idea of having Monica be a Mortal Savant. That sounds cool. RTK, thank you for summoning Tier 1 for 44 months. Greatly appreciated. Thank you, brother. So, Monica. I want to switch... How do I do this? Convoy? Here we go. I knew that there was somewhere that said changing class. I just didn't know where to get to it. It was through Convoy. By changing classes often, you can experiment with different combinations of units' unique abilities and class actions. Classes marked with a blue arrow indicate a class bonus for that unit. Use a class bonus to receive additional class experience. All right, you are going to switch to Soldier. Is what we're going to... Ooh, Earth Splitter. Soldiers use this instead of lances instead of swords? I thought that soldier would use... I guess, yeah, I guess that would be. Like, mercenary class is the sword one, isn't it? And then Monica... We're gonna change your class... To Myrmidon? Yeah, to get Mortal Savant. Yeah, Myrmidon. Let's go. Grounder and Wrath Strike. That's fine. All right, all right. Kind of disappointed the Three Houses DLC classes don't seem to be in the class tree. I'd love to see a Magic Flyer or a Mounted Unit. Good. Uh, I guess. I didn't play the DLC, so I wouldn't know. Like, I have a general idea of what happened in the DLC. I think I actually owned the DLC, but I just never played it. Trickster was one of the DLC classes in Three Houses? Well, Trickster is definitely in the game. Only Trickster made it. Mmm, I see. Well, you know, as long as there are enough fun classes to play, that's all that I really care about. Since uh, a Warriors game is a lot more about your own gameplay and, like, enjoying the combos and stuff they do, more so than having, like, uh, specific stuff and whatnot. Wait a minute, I don't think I finished classing everyone up. I stopped to change over... Monica and Petra, but I think other characters still needed to get their class ups. Because I still have more intermediate seals. Hubert, we should put him up to mage, and then he's gonna go dark mage, dark bishop for sure. There you go, Hubert. Rock in the cape. One cannot achieve victory without challenge. Indeed. And then, Linhart, I already did yours, didn't I? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Priest, obviously. There you are. I wish this was... I wish it was for something besides war as well, my friend. Caspar, we changed, and he needs to... Wait a minute. No, I already switched you to Brawler. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. It just has exclamation marks because you still have more options. You need to master your class before you can do anything else. You two need to master your class. Dorothea, we already put up to Dark Mage. I guess we can do Monwella, even though I'm not really using Monwella. Monwella is already a priest. She doesn't need to switch to Mage. So I think we're good. We need to get Bernadetta up so that we can uh, do hers. But I think, I think we're set now. We should be good. So with that done, let's get back into the action and go beat some stuff up. And then honestly, I think, chat, I think I'm going to save real quick in case it turns out to be like, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to save here and we're going to try to play on hard difficulty real quick and see how it goes. And then if I just get absolutely destroyed and some of my characters die, we'll reload save and I'll just keep playing on normal. But, uh, I want to give hard a try. 
so let's let's give hard a try and see how that feels compared to normal. Which battlefield are you headed to? All right, well, we should take the, the northern one first and then make our way south, and that'll go straight to the end of the chapter one. So, Western Burgundy Territory. Intermediate seal, very nice. Training points recovered, one. Love the sound of that. It says enemy level 17. Enemy level 18. Hmm, well, I'm like level seven, but whatever. I'll just play better than the AI. Rescue the mage and their allies. Okay, interesting. The mage, the armored knight, or the mercenary is routed. Mm, can't let any of them uh, lose. Hard adds 10 levels to enemy levels. That seems like a bit much. Hard just adds 10 levels to everyone. That sounds kind of lame, actually. <laughs> like if it just adds plus 10 levels. Plus 10 is a lot. I'm surprised it's not just plus five. Sometimes units who didn't participate in the last battle will start to feel energized. Energized units who are deployed to battle will gain bonus experience. Oh, that's what Hubert and Manuela have. Energized units will receive bonus experience during battle. On the battle results screen, all units sent out will receive bonus experience based on the number of energized units that were deployed. After a battle is won, units will no longer feel energized whether they were deployed in battle or not. Performing certain actions during battle will increase support points, defeating enemy general with Ajitant, triggering a partner special with Ajitant, healing an ally. Each of those actions will only trigger an increase in support points once per battle between the same two units. Additionally, winning a battle will increase support points between all units deployed in that battle. Okay, I understand. Well, now that chat has told me it's literally just plus 10, that sounds lame. So I think I'm gonna go back to normal, because plus 10 is a lot? If it was plus five, I mean, like, I guess I can still, we, we can still give it a go and see, I guess, if it seems like way too difficult or not. 400 enemies, damage taken 30%, seven minutes. We'll see. I'm, I'm willing to give this a chance, and then we'll see. So we have four units here. We do, we have Hubert and Manuela that have the, the boost bonus. It looks like right here, it was saying down there, weak to mages. Or maybe it was just weak to Manuela's setup. Oh, I thought that it said there was a weak enemy down there. Maybe it was saying Caspar. Who, do, who are you good on, Caspar? Red arrows are bad. So Dorothea and Rogue are not doing great here. So, Edelgard would do really well here. Ferdinand this absolutely destroys over here as a horse, dude. Let's bring Ferdinand here. Maybe save in case you lose some units. I did. I saved, and then I said, I'm going to save. Let's try hard mode, and if it goes bad, I'll reload the save, and we'll keep playing on normal. need someone to take care of this left area over here. Who do I have that'll do good on those units over there? No one? I don't have any good matchups over there at all, huh? You're gonna destroy there. Edelgard would do well. Okay, let's put Edelgard here to handle this up here. Ferdinand will handle this. So those two are handling that, and then... Caspar, I forgot to buy Caspar something other than training gauntlets, you fool. I meant to do that before we went out. So we're gonna take out Caspar then. Just someone who does normal over here then. Let's do Petra, and Petra can go in here and take this. Take this guy out, because she has advantage. And Rogue is our strongest character, so he'll go out here and deal with this. And then... This enemy is good against Rogue, but I'm just gonna ignore that enemy and let Petra go handle that after a while. Okay. I might actually just have Petra Agitant Rogue immediately. All right, I like what we have set up. We might get blown out because hard difficulty might be a little too much of a jump for my taste, but we're gonna give it a try. And if I wanna switch back to normal afterwards, we'll switch back to normal. I'm here to have fun above all else. 
I wish this game had something like uh, Tales of does. Tales of normally has like easy, normal, moderate, and then hard. I feel like a moderate difficulty is exactly what I would want here, where like the enemies are up five levels instead of ten. But that's not an option, so we're gonna give it a go. Let's earn our key. I don't want the game to be easy, but I don't want the game to be so hard that I like get really annoyed either or lose units. All right, I need to adjutant with Petra. Please guard. All right, here we go. Let's get started here. Am I like zoomed in? Like zoom? There. Okay, not that. You know what? This is fine. Ferdinand. Destroy that fool. Edelgard. No mistake. Destroy that fool. Help me, please. I didn't think that Petra would be in this outfit. Do I not have? Do I have her set to class outfits? I thought she was just in her basic outfit. Earth Splitter. There we go. Good start. I forgot that Petra still does her little uh, wind dash move. Very cool. Wrecked. Hey, dude. Get your Earth Split again. I'm getting this break. But this seems to be going fine so far, level-wise. I mean, Petra absolutely destroyed there. All right, I am Ferdinand. Mounting, mounting and dismounting. For mounted units such as Cavaliers and Pegasus Knights, press L plus B to mount and dismount. Okay. Okay. You have to set it to standard issue, which only it uses her unique outfit in her preferred class. Okay, got it. Remind me to do that after this fight, please, chat. I am your man. You are the man. Prepare to be kneeled. No, do not begin. Die. Defeat the thief targeting the chest. Is that right next to us? Right there, huh? Dead. Why, hello there, thief with a with a key. You may continue to rely on me. Earth Splitter. Very nice. All right, I was really worried about hating playing his horse units, by the way, but honestly, so far, seems fine. Fare thee well. All right, Edelgard won her fight already? Okay, I think that hard difficulty is gonna be fine. I just killed this thief, didn't I? I think I did. Oh, not quite, you're still barely alive. Now you're dead. I thought you'd die on that ult, for sure. Behold my power. I defeated the thief. We gotta make sure we get the chest. Edelgard is next to it. Can I just send Edelgard to it? Edelgard, go defeat that enemy. What is Petra doing? Petra is right there moving along. 80 to 20%. Go take care of that, Petra. I can still fight. Get kneeled. Your stronghold belongs to Ferdinand von Eyre. All right, enemies aren't insta-dying to uh, super moves now, which honestly uh, seems good. Give me this base. There's an option to dismount for mounted units. Yeah, the game just told me. It's L plus B, I believe. Yes. Oh, you guys are enemies. Of course, because you're not in red. Why, hello there, Myrmidon. Stay back. Victory conditions have changed. I haven't been paying attention. I don't have any more durability, Rip. Goodness. This is a great little place. A brawler appealed, appeared, rather, and attacked the mage. Where's that one? Right over there? Okay, we gotta protect her. All right, you win these exchanges. Oh, mage is super low. Get over there. Get over there right now. I probably need to be Petra right now. Be gone. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, everyone's like being attacked right now. Edelgard's fighting you. There's not a question of can. Only a matter of will. Kill him. 